Just Blaze. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Uh. Kill him. All the girls see them. Look at his kicks. Look at his car. All I say is. Look, mommy, I'm no good. I'm so hood. Clap at your soldier. Sober. Let me leave out this sober. Kill her. I'm not your companion. Hey, it's Kia. Today, I'm going to tell you about why I'm leaving St. John's University. Um. I honestly feel like St. John's is just too much money, and I feel like I'm not getting my money's worth. I mean, yeah, they give you, uh, um, they used to give you free math books, the newest math book for free, but my class of 2021, they make you pay $150 per semester for your math book, and, and if you, like, transfer out to another school, you have to give your computer back, too, so, but yeah, it's $60,000 for tuition. And that's not including room and board, which is another $10,000. And, yeah, I did get scholarships, but, like, I still had to take out a loan. And I was just not comfortable with taking out a loan. When I'm a New York State student, I can um, go to school for free. I can go to any SUNY or CUNY school for free. I just feel like I shouldn't be going to a $60,000 school because it's really not worth it. Okay, so what I did was break um, this video into five different categories. Um, one is food, one is the teachers, one is the um, people, three is the dorms, and five is my overall opinion of the school. Um, clearly, you know my opinion already if you're watching this video. One, the food. Okay, so the food that the undergraduates usually get, they get a meal plan for Monty or Montagoras, but people call it Monty's. The food in the beginning, it's like, it's alright, you know, it's good. Um, they have hibachi every day, they have their own omelet station, um, they have a veg they have a vegetarian, um, two vegetarian dishes all the time for vegetarians. Um, they do cheeseburgers if you want, you know. I think it would be like a typical... A typical um, cafeteria or any college but the tier of the food um, it reminds me of something that my high school had I went to um, Proctor High School in upstate New York the food was really not what I thought it would be like I thought it would be like this lobster steak ah, it's $60,000 private Catholic school in Queens New York you know it really wasn't that so there is another cafeteria um, on the other side well, like the far side of campus in the law school the law school they have great food they have lobster steak they have Philly cheese steak sandwiches it's like gourmet food like top tier but for the undergraduates you get Monty's and it's just Monty's is just not the way to go the food is just not good at all like so after a while after the first two weeks of Monty's I was just so tired of it I didn't eat it and I was just eating the food that my parents had bought me to originally move into campus and a second they have um this thing called meal exchange where um because freshmen are required to get unlimited swipes so you can use one of your swipes to subway burger king um freshens which is a smoothie place um pizza italian um taco bell um chinese food vegetarian um cheeseburgers those are all in different um buildings like that you learn in like different classroom buildings but they're in the basement of them so you can use your unlimited swipe to go there but then you can go back like like say for breakfast breakfast is between um seven and eleven so if you wanted to go get um if you wanted to go get Let's see, what does breakfast meal change? Subway, I mean, um, Dunkin' Donuts is breakfast meal change. So if you wanted to do swipe your breakfast for Dunkin' Donuts, you would have to go to Dunkin' Donuts first and then swipe back into Monty's because you have unlimited swipes for Monty's. So that's how that goes. Um, there's also this thing called the diner. It's like a, I feel like it's privately owned, owned, um, diner by this this family they look like they're all related um it's a black family they make cheeseburgers they stay open till three so every time me and my friends are out after partying we go to the diner because they don't close till three and then we just grab something to eat then we go back up they have um salads they have black bean burgers uh, cheeseburgers chicken tenders french fries milkshakes pancakes anything you can ask for they have it um so yeah that's another option for food um so I'm gonna get started talking about the teachers. The teachers, the teachers, 
Um, one of my teachers that I absolutely loved, his name was Professor Bertone. He was my public speaking. Um, he was great, you know. He was like, he was really understanding with missing, missing class because I did apply for a job. But, like, my hours would be like, say my class is from... 325 to 450 I would have to go to work at 430 and he would let me leave early take the work all that so the teachers are really um understanding they don't really like hound do you know they there is like so much freedom like people in high school made it seem like college was going to be oh this oh that but it's really not like it's really just like high school it's like your freshman year is literally a representation of your senior year in high school except for like you don't you well actually you do get senior artists a little bit but like not really that. But anyways, the teachers, they, um, he was the only teacher I liked. Let's start there. He's the only one I like. All the other four, I did not like them. I hated them. They gave me homework. Too much homework. Like, one class would give me two essays and three books to read. Like, three chapters of a book to read. And I'm just like, I have other classes. Like, they don't, they know that you have other classes, but they act like they don't know that you have other classes. And I'm just not okay with that. Um, the people. The people is just a great vibe, you know. I'm from New York already, so I already know. I already knew St. John's was going to be lit, but it's just not the place for me. Actually, my first choice was to go to Clark. And, you know, I was ready to go off. But my parents asked me to give them. They was like, give us a year, go to St. John's, give us a year. So, here I am at the end of my semester, my first semester. This is actually um, winter break right now. So, I'm already searching up transfers and all that because I really thought... I thought, I don't know why, but I thought that I would have so much fun and enjoy St. John's so much that I wouldn't be worried about Clark. But the whole time I was at St. John's, I was thinking about Clark. Like, it's really like... But anyways, back to the people. The people are lit. We are lit, okay? Lit as fuck, okay? But, other, but like, it's not even about being lit, though. Because, you know, you go to college to learn. You know, it's fun. Like, I can't, I can't even explain it, but everything... It's this thing called the, um, the strip. They call it the strip. Um, other schools, I guess they call it a promenade or something. We have a strip. So, when it's nice outside, everybody's on the strip, you know, playing music. Um, some people are dancing, getting light, you know, shoulders. Let me see what your shoulders work with. Man, stuff. Okay, so, you meet people from all over, you know. It's so cute how, because it's wintertime, and there's some people from California who've never seen snow before. And it's so cute how they be playing in the snow because they never seen it before. And I'm just like, oh my god, that is so adorable. They just be throwing it up and, you know, look like little kids. I mean, I'm not trying to say they look like little kids, but it's, like, so cute because they never seen it before. I'm just like, oh, that's so cute. All right, so next is the dorms. Okay, so there's three freshman dorm halls. I've been in all three. Don't ask me why. There's Donovan, the Silva, and um, Donovan, the Silva, and Hollis. Hollis is the popping hall. I mean, the popping dorm hall. So I lived in Donovan. It was Donovan was nice. It was clean, you know. Um, nobody really wanted to be the Donovan. They called Donovan the projects, and they called Hollis Hollywood. And um, where am I now? The Silva. They called the Silva. Um, what is it? The mid class, the working class, dorm halls. So, I'm living in DeSilva right now because I got kicked out of Hollis. Don't ask me why. I was I transferred from Donovan to Hollis because the roommate that I had, I just was not getting along with her. I did not like it, none of that. So, I dipped, and then I got kicked out of Hollis. Now, I'm at DeSilva. But DeSilva, okay, I live on the fifth floor of DeSilva. The fifth floor of every hall is the cooking, and it's just so dirty. Like, there's flies all over the fifth floor, right on the corner. As soon as you get off the elevator and you make a left, there's mad flies everywhere. And it's just so dirty, I cannot do it. And then the showers, like, we clean our own showers, but you can still tell, like, they need some new showers. Like, it's getting rusty around the bottom. The, the cracks, the corners, is all rusty. Like, I cannot do it. It's too dirty. And then Donovan was clean. I think Donovan was clean because nobody wanted to be in it. Donovan was not the lit, the lit, um, halls. It was the projects. So, I think that's why nobody wanted to be in it and everybody wanted to go to Hollis. Because when I was in the Hollis, it was even rustier than the Silva. It was like the showers was... First of all, they gave us a jail shower head. When I first moved in, we had a jail shower head. And I'm just like... I think one of our, my sweet mates complained. And then we got the real shower head that we were supposed to get because we were... There was only three holes of water coming out. And I was just like, what is this? Like, I paid too much money to come here to be getting this horrible ass shower. 
Like, I just cannot do it. And then I heard some... I heard some rumors about there being roaches on Alice sixth floor, but I never seen a roach myself. I personally never seen one. All right, um, and then like the rules that they give us, like every they have so much. Okay, so they have so much security, but I think that was because last year uh, there was a shooting in one of the halls last year. Um, some kid brought a gun, shot up the place or whatever, it ricocheted all over. Nobody was hurt, but there was a shoot. So I think that's why they're so strict on visitors now. If you wanna have someone come over. They have to have an ID or a passport. If they don't have an ID or a passport, they cannot come into the building. They cannot go anywhere. And then after 11 o'clock, it's closed campus. So anybody can just walk on. But then after 11 o'clock, anybody can leave, but they can't come in. Like, you need your ID to get in. Like, it's just all these rules and stuff. I mean, I kind of expected it, but I didn't expect it to be, like, how it is right now. Um, you get students, St. John students, can stay in your room until 3 o'clock. But other people, they have to leave at 1 o'clock. I mean, that's cool, too. But, like, again, when you want to check in, they have to take your ID, type in all your information, and then they keep your ID, and they don't give it back to you until it's time for you to leave. I just feel like this school does the absolute most, okay? And then they have... I get you want the, um... I guess you want the campus to look nice, you know, but they got fl They buy so many flowers. Like, before I come in, I see thousands, mad flower pots everywhere. And I'm just like, so this is where my money is going? So this is where my money is going? All right. And then, before we leave for winter break, they had a fireworks show and bit bought this big-ass Christmas tree. And I'm like, what is this? Like, how is this helping my education? Please tell me. How is fireworks in a, in a big Christmas tree helping my education? It's really not. So, my money is being wasted right in front of me, and, like, I, I don't like that. Like, the overall, my overall opinion of the school is, like, yeah, it's, it's a right for somebody who wants to, I'm not even close to home, because I'm five hours away. I'm five hours away from St. John's, so I'm not close to home at all. But, I feel like for somebody 